Hey guys, Hannah here at Cool Desi, and I have a little bit of a different and interesting project for you all today. We're gonna be doing a digital heat FX production run. So if you've seen any of our other t-shirt demos before with the system, this is gonna look a little different because we're doing it in production. We're not just making one t-shirt. I have some different shirts here, some different materials that we'll be doing. And basically we're going to make 16 shirts, like a full order from start to finish. So the very first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm in my print optimizer software and I have my art all set up. I have 17 copies of it because I like to print one extra just in case I mess up and I'm gonna press print. So my files are gonna be sent over to my printer. We're gonna use the Digital Heat FX 8432 for this project today. And it's just gonna go through like rapid fire and print all these out for me. So you can see our first one has popped out there and it's just going to keep going. It's going to keep sending them all out. So something cool about this software and this system is even though we're doing all the same shirt today, we're doing the same order we could have had different designs. So I could have had 16 different designs here, set them all up to print and press print and they would all just go. Uh, but for this job we're gonna do today, we have the same design that we're putting on these shirts. It's done here. My top tray is full, so it's just going to come out of the top. Move some of these over to the side, get them ready. Almost done here. And if they fold like that, it's okay. This paper does have some static to it. You know, so when you're printing a bunch of them, it'll get a little staticky, just kind of like if you um, have your hair next to a balloon or something like that. A couple more left here. I think that's our last one. Yep. All right, so I have all my transfers over here. You guys can see them, have them all kind of stacked up, I'm trying to stay organized while I do this production run. Again, I am not a t-shirt pro. I don't own my own t-shirt shop. I just come in here and make shirts so I can make videos for you guys. So if you know you own a shop and you're doing this every day, you'll get faster at this and you'll get much better at it. So I have my A sheets. We're using the Easy Peel two-step paper for the production run. And I have my B sheets right here. So the next step is all gonna be over at my heat press. So now I'm gonna add the adhesive to all 16 of my transfers. So I'm gonna grab my A sheet, my transfer, put it down on my heat press, grab my B sheet, this is the adhesive, put it on top, line it up, and then I use a finishing sheet on top of that. And then we press these since we're using the Easy Peel two-step paper and the 8432, we're pressing these at 320 degrees for 75 seconds and we want a five pressure. So in production, usually the best way to go about this is to do all of your marrying step first. So we're gonna turn all of these, trans all of these printed transfers into transfers that are ready for our t-shirts. Then we'll move on to putting them on all of our t-shirts. So this will just be a couple seconds. This is a good time to get prepared, get ready for your next Mary step, or just get some other things done around your shop. You have 75 seconds right here, so you can do other things.
All right, so this is almost done. When it's done, I'm going to peel these two away immediately. As soon as it's done, I'll peel them away from each other. All right, lift this up, remove my finishing sheet, and peel these away. This transfer, this design is really great for t-shirts with the digital heat effect system because you can see it has tons of negative space in here. So it's really going to help the design breathe. All right. So I'm going to put this one over here on my working table. Get rid of the second sheet. I don't want it to touch my warm transfer at all. So I'll just put it over to the side. And now I'm going to move on to the next one. And I'm gonna start getting a little bit of a flow here, y'all are gonna see, so I'm not probably gonna talk to you guys too much. <laughs> I'll put this down, I'll get my next one pressing, and while this is under the heat press, I'm gonna trim that one. So I'll have it all ready for my shirt. Put that on. All right, and like I said, I'll press that. I'm over here with this transfer. I'm gonna get it all trimmed up while that one's cooking. You'll see um, the paper has a little bit of just like a residue on the edges. This is just from that adhesive sheet that we were using. So I'll trim that up. Highly recommend a cutter like this for this system. Just helps make really exact lines. And you can get this in the bundle with your digital heat effect system. One transfer ready, put it to the side there. Move back over to our heat press, check it out. Have about 27 seconds to go. So I will tell you guys, some people that have been doing this for a really long time, they have mastered being able to uh, marry or adhere that polymer um, multiple sheets at a time. Something like that does take practice though. Um, and like I said, I'm not a t-shirt business owner. I'm not a pro, so I'm not gonna attempt it, but I will say there are people that do it. Um, so it's definitely possible. side try and keep my area nice and clean
Okay, so as you guys can tell, I am picking up a little speed when we get back to our heat press after the cutting. I'm getting more and more time left just because I'm kind of getting in the flow of this. Um, and since I am, that just gives me more time to do other stuff. I can clean up my area, but if I had a full t-shirt shop, I could uh, make other t-shirts with vinyl. I could run my embroidery machine. Uh, there's all different things I could do. So definitely opportunity for other things going on in your shop. Let's transfer over. All right, trim this one up. After I trim this, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about the shirts that we're gonna be using today for this production run. It's pretty common when you do big t-shirt orders that you'll have like different sizes and different style shirts. Um, so the good thing about the digital heat effect system for projects like this is these transfers stick on to basically any material. They're gonna stick on cotton, poly, and blends. So we have 100% cotton and a couple blends today in this order. And we'll go over them for you in just a second here. All right, that transfer's ready. So you can see here, I have all my t-shirts laid out for me. This is gonna help me when I move on to the next step. Uh, but we have some districts, the perfect weight shirts. These are 100% cotton. So we'll do all of those first. Then we'll move on to our blends. We have, um, let's see here, we have another district, but this is the perfect try. So this is a try blend. Then we have a next level blend and a Bella and canvas blend here. So all these blends have the same go for the same time under the heat press. The cotton is just a couple seconds longer. So I'll show you in the heat press when we get to that step, how we do this and how we manage that in production. But basically you'll notice, and even with this marrying step right now, I'm really utilizing the presets. So we love this Hotronics Fusion for this process because I'm able to put presets, it has a memory. So I can put in this heat press all the times and temperatures and pressures I need. And all I have to do is select those and it just makes it really easy. I don't have to keep pressing buttons on my heat press. It knows that I'm just doing my full marrying steps right now. So it's gonna do that same time, temp and pressure for me every time. Move on to my next one here. Get my sheet. Get it lined up. All right. Press that. Tidy up a little here. All right, we'll start trimming. Got about 40 seconds left on our heat press. So I'll also mention 
we are doing full size transfers, full 11 by 17 transfers right now. So this is a big design, this is a big t-shirt. I could have put on this 11 by 17 sheet, I could have put tons of left chest logos on here. And then I would do that adhesive, this marrying step, all at once. So then all those left chest logos would be ready. And we would have ton that we could just go ahead and put on a t-shirt on a t-shirt on a t-shirt. This process is taking a little longer because I'm having to marry each sheet by themselves because they are the full transfer size. So you can imagine, even if I had cut this design in half, I probably could have rotated it and fit a couple of these on one sheet. That would just cut my production time in half, make it even faster. But we wanted the full design for this today for this project. All right, that one's done. Grab another one here. And I'll say it's not even uncommon for a lot of t-shirt shops to have multiple heat presses. Um, even the dual head heat presses are possible as well. Press that, come over to my cutter. have another transfer finish. Let's see where we're at right now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven transfers already done. And I am, again, I'm making 16 shirts, but I'm going to do um, marry 17 of my transfers. Cause like I said, I do want that extra one just for myself in case I mess up or anything happens. Um, so we have about 10 left to go. here. So first example of a mess up. This is why we printed an extra one. As this was still warm when I took it off my heat press, I brought it over here kind of sloppily and the two sides just folded together like a hot dog. Because it was still warm, the toner now kind of transferred over, you can see. So, you know, things like this happen as you um, get more professional, as you get the hang of it more. These kind of things don't happen, but you know, like I said, I'm trying my best here. So I'm just gonna get rid of this one. And we printed an extra, so no big deal. We have about 20 seconds left on the heat press here. And a common question um, that I should definitely answer for you guys is, so do you have to do this marrying step all the time, every time you make a shirt? Or every time you make anything with a digital heat FX system? And the answer is no. We are doing this step right now because of the paper we're using. We're using the Easy Peel two-step paper, and this is a really premium transfer paper for making t-shirts, so it does involve this extra step. Um, but we also have the Easy Peel one-step paper, which does not involve this step right here. And when you use the hard surface paper to make things like mugs and wanted signs, you don't have to do this step either. All right. 
At the end, I like to let it just peel off on its own. Be more careful this time when I bring it over here. Grab my next transfer. One thing I really like about this system and making all these t-shirts in the production run is this isn't a messy system. As you can tell, there's not like inks involved, there's no fumes or anything. You're not really making too much of a mess here. And in between time, while your heat press is working, you have time to just kind of tidy up your area. So after your job's done, you're not looking at a ton of work to clean up. transfer here. I'm sure if you guys can tell, I am a little bit of a perfectionist with this stuff. I could just lay that sheet on there, pop my top sheet on there, put my finishing sheet on and slam it under. But I am a little crazy. I do like to make sure that all the edges are covered and that my paper's on there all even. So, you know, it does take me a little bit of time. Move on to trimming this one. Yeah, and then even an alternate thing you could do here, if you have other things to do around your shop, you could marry all of these, just get them married, and then you can stack them all together and cut these edges all at the same time. But since I don't have anything else to do, I don't have a real shop here, I'm just in the Cold Desi showroom, I have the free time to where I can cut these edges while they're heat pressing. All right, another transfer for our deck. Now, some people in their shops, they just make these transfers and actually just sell the transfers and their customers put them on t-shirts themselves. So that's another really great way you can make money with this system. You just come here and you add all the adhesive, all the polymer to these transfers so that they're ready for t-shirts and send them all their way. Now, if you're looking at this and you've been wondering kind of like what the extra color is or the extra toner on my adhesive sheet is. So basically the way this work is the adhesive, the polymer sticks on the toner, only the toner. So you can kind of see that. And in the areas where we don't have a lot of toner, just because this is the way that this art was designed, it's not gonna stick to that. It doesn't have enough toner to stick to. But that's the nature of the design that we're doing right here. That's just the way that this one was made. You can see we kind of have a little bit of a fading effect in areas. That's just because of the way that this art is. I'll put that over there. Move on to my next transfer. If you're watching this video and you have one of these systems and you're used to big production runs like this 
and you have a different way that you do it, you have any tips or tricks, feel free to leave them in the comments, let us know. Um, I'd love to have a second heat press right now. That would definitely help speed things along a little bit. It would literally cut our time in half. So, you know, it is just a, a great thing if your business is growing to think about adding something like that. All right, we have 16 or 15 seconds left. And after this, we only have five more to go. So we're almost done with this step. We move on to the transferring onto the t-shirt. You're gonna see it's gonna move along much faster. So if you guys, if any of you guys watching are in the vinyl business, the heat transfer vinyl, you know right away that, first of all, I mean, you really couldn't do something like this. This is a kind of art design that requires digital printing. Um, but even if you did attempt something with this many colors, you know how long it would take to weed all of that. So weeding for you guys that don't know is when you remove all the excess material so for something like this, if we had all these layered pieces of vinyl, each color, we would have to remove that extra vinyl. So that's super time consuming. I mean, if you could imagine for six, an order of 16 shirts like we're doing right now, um, that would take much longer than this. Even though this feels like a while, um, you have to just think about the advantages of something, this full color system that digitally prints. Check out my transfers here. Just count, make sure I'm on the right track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Almost done, guys.
right. Put that over to the side. Grab my next transfer. And after I send this one under and I start press or cutting away my edges over there, we'll chat about some of the other ways that people make shirts. Just, you know, if you guys are still hanging along and watching me do this right now, um, just so you can have some like perspective on some other ways that people would go about something like this. Um, so, you know, another really popular way to make shirts is with direct to garment printing. So if you're a direct to garment printer, you're probably watching me doing all of these marrying steps and you're like, you know, that's ridiculous. But you have to think about the other things that as direct to garment printers, y'all are doing. You have to pre-treat your shirt. You have to dry the pre-treat. Then you print your shirt. Then you have to dry the ink. When you take your direct to garment shirt off the printer, it's not dry. Um, so there's all these steps that when you think about it, very comparative. Um, but you know, direct to garment printing, of course, has it as advantages. Um, so there is that. With direct to garment printing though, um, I will say if you know, you do have to have 100% cotton is what's recommended for that process. And like I said earlier, we're putting these on blends, we're putting these on all types of different shirts today. But you know, ultimately this system, the digital heat effect system, um, we're using the 8432 today, but these systems, our lowest model package starts at around 4K. So these are really affordable packages to get started if you're thinking about like upgrading from vinyl. You know, a direct to garment printer is probably gonna be in the 15K to 20K range, especially, you know, you have to add in the pre-treat machine and stuff like that. So, you know, just think, something to think about when you think about the cost of starting your t-shirt business. All right, almost done here. And then we have sublimation. Sublimation is another really popular way to make shirts. But as I'm sure you know, or if you don't, sublimation requires 100% polyester shirts only. So we couldn't use any of the shirts we're using today. Also with sublimation, you have to use white or really light colored garments. So we're doing black t-shirts today. That's something you 100% could not do with sublimation, but sublimation is really fast. You print your transfer, you heat press it on and you're done. Um, but there are, you know, the disadvantages there. So I'll go ahead and trim this one. Now, another printer we have in our digital heat FX line um, are, is our new direct to film printer. So DTF printer, um, really popular right now. And this is like our high end, you know, it's a commercial automatic direct to film printer. And it does these transfers and makes them ready for t-shirts extremely fast. On our forehead DTF printer, you can get, we were just doing a video the other day, you can get about 50 transfers out of it, ready to go in under 10 minutes. So, I mean, it is a powerhouse, um, but it's a big machine. It's loud. Um, it does have, you know, maybe a little bit of a smell to it. You have to have an extraction unit. So there are things, and it's, you know, the two head is probably, I think about 25,000. So, you know, it's all about what your business can handle, what you can afford right now, and, and what will fit in your shop as well. So we have about seven seconds left here. All right, guys, after I peel this one apart, we are on to our last transfer.
couple seconds left here and I'll bring this over to you guys just to show you kind of what I meant by, you know, this not being a super messy system. Um, all my like cleaning I have to do is, all I have to do is I have to throw this away. Um, so if you're familiar with any inkjet systems or heavy cleaning screen printing, uh, this is a very clean type of process. So definitely an advantage there. All right, guys, so after this, we can move on to our next step. This out. Go ahead and trim this up. All right, everyone. So I now have 16 transfers here. These are all ready to be put on my shirt. So we're going to move on to that step next. I'm going to go ahead and just tidy my area up a little bit. Move this to the side. Now I have my shirts. So the first thing I'm gonna do is on my heat press, I'm gonna change my preset. So we were talking about this earlier. I'm first gonna do my cotton shirts so that this is easy for us and I don't have to go back and forth. I'm gonna go ahead and select my cotton preset, which is the same temperature, it's 320 degrees, but only 45 seconds. So I'm gonna start pressing. So I'll grab a shirt pull out my platen, lay my shirt on. And this is one of those areas that I'm going to start getting faster at it once I get in my groove. Um, but at first, you know, I'm just getting comfortable. So I will go ahead, put my transfer on. I use that finishing sheet again for this step. I'm going to have to loosen up my pressure a little bit because we're adding a t-shirt. So it's a little thicker. We want about a five medium pressure for this as well. It's a little light, so we'll just add a little more. All right, and we're good. So you have 45 seconds left here. This is a good time to just get organized and whatnot. These require a cold peel. So when I take this shirt off the heat press, I'm not just gonna peel away my transfer right away. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit. So you'll see kind of how that production flow works as well. I'm going to set up my little area a little bit here. This is going to just help me out a little bit. Move my shirts, as you can see. I'm going to move my transfers. All right, so this is done. Take this off. And I'm going to lay it on my table. I'm going to lay it face down. This table is kind of cool. It's going to help it cool off. So I'm not going to rip that transfer off yet. I'm just going to go ahead and put my next shirt on. Grab my transfer, line it up, finishing sheet and press. So we have 10 seconds left on this shirt heat press, but my shirt over here is cool. This is ready to be um, ripped off. So I can go ahead and do that now. I'll just rip this off, leave that to the side. Then I'll come over to my heat press. I'll grab this shirt off and I'll just keep doing the same thing basically. So I'll put that down over there. We have our finished shirts, but these aren't quite finished yet. We'll, we'll do a finishing press on that. So. 
my next shirt on. Transfer. Try and keep myself a little bit tidy here. This one is finished. Take this off my press. Lay it here. Next shirt on. All right. And this is my last of the 100% cotton shirts here. Put right on there. Grab my transfer. Line it up. Sheet on there. All right, so this one is done. This one's nice and cool. Go ahead and rip this away. Put this over to my finished pile of carrier sheets. Add this on top. Another great thing to do for this step, um, if you wanna you know, speed this up even more, is using an ice pack. So ice packs are really great for production. You just basically will use the ice pack, go like this, and it'll cool down this transfer really fast. So you can just rip like rapid fire. Uh, but you know, we have some time on our hands. We're just here making this video for you guys just to see how it works. So I can wait. <laughs> All right this face down. I'm going to rip this one. Over here. Let this cool down a little bit more before I rip it. We are moving on to the blend shirts now though. So go ahead. This is the District Perfect Tri Blends. I'll put it on my heat press and then I'm going to change my preset real quick. See here, I have an option for me that's blends. And so same thing with the temperature. This is still 320 degrees, but we're only doing 30 seconds for blends. So really great for production as well. People really love the feel of blends. So, you know, if, if your customer wants that, then it's great for you because it uh, speeds up your production. This is ready now. Go ahead and grab that, cool down a little bit. Add it to our pile. All right. This over here. 
that shirt on. Finishing sheet on top and press. This shirt is ready now for my rip, nice and cooled off. Grab a corner, rip, add it to my pile. When we finish these, we are going to be using our tea seal sheet today. Um, that's just another option for your finishing press. And the time, temperature and stuff is all gonna be the same. So it's okay. I don't have to like make sure that these are all organized and everything. It's all gonna be the same from that point on. All right. Next shirt. It's our last district. Perfect try. Right, moving on, we have our four next level apparel blend shirts. Still using that blend preset. Transfer on. Finishing sheet on top and press. Right, we got some that are cooled off over here, ready to be ripped. cool off just a little longer. So you can see when I'm laying these shirts on, I'm making sure the collar and the seams are out of the way. Just something really important for this process, guys. You want a really even pressure. So you do have to take a little bit of time to make sure that you push that stuff out of the way. All right, let's see here. Yep, nice and cool. Add it to my pile. Let's see, is this our last next level shirt? It might be. We are nearing the end, you guys. So this is a 16 shirt job. This is, you know, a lot of people, this would definitely fit probably the minimum for a screen printing order. Um, so this is a big job. Screen printers a lot of time will, for a job like this, art like this, they'll charge you per color because each color is a different screen. Um, so this would definitely be an expensive job. Uh, a screen printer might, would probably even turn down art like this, to be honest. About four seconds left here. Ready? 
All right, so now we are on to our last shirts. Oh wait, no, I have one more next level left. Sorry guys. All right. Because nice and cooled off. We are now on to our last type of shirts, which are the Bella Canvas blends as well. Put that on our press, get our transfer. You can see my little finishing sheet fell over here. No big deal. Just grab it, put it on, press. All right. Make sure this is nice and cooled off. Make sure it's not trapping any heat in here in between the two layers. Got three seconds here. Almost done. All right, I have our last shirt here. Lay that on our press. Our last transfer, that on top. Finishing sheet and the press. I'm going to take this last shirt off, put it over here on my table to cool, and I'm going to go back over my press and change my preset for that next finishing step we're going to do. I'm going to go over here. This does, the TCL sheet, sheet does require a little bit of a lower temperature, so I'm going to go ahead and get this set. 
All right, guys, so our carrier sheets are ready to be ripped off of our last two shirts. We'll go ahead and do that before we move on to our finishing press for all of them here. Flip this over. Okay, let me get myself organized a little bit here for our last step in this production run process. So I have my heat press, the temperature has gone down now to the 270 degrees that we need for the T-seal. And I have my T-seal sheet right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put each shirt on the press, lay it on. I'll grab the T-seal and this sheet has kind of a textured side and then a smooth side. The texture side goes down on our shirt and we just really like this finishing sheet for Digital Heat FX. Um, it gives us a really nice finish, helps with durability and washability. And we're gonna press for 20 seconds. And so with the T-seal sheet, after it's done for the 20 seconds, we will let it rest for just a couple seconds, like four seconds before we remove it, and then it's done. So I'll have over here on my working table a pile of finished shirts and then the pile of shirts that is not finished yet. Right, five, four, three, two, one. Like that. The shirt's done. And try and just get through these. This is kind of the fastest part here, just finishing these off. And you see it turns that shiny finish into a really nice matte finish. And this is also like a medium pressure on this finishing press. If you look at these finished shirts here, you can kind of see it, it gives it a little bit of a texture. So these transfers really feel and look like they're part of the t-shirt. All right, so that's four of our Bella and Canvas shirts. You can see my pile of finished shirts right here. Now we'll move on to our next, or the next level. But my temperature and time, none of that, that is going to change for this finishing press with the T-seal. We're gonna stick to our 270 at 20 seconds. shirt here. All 
right, as y'all can tell, we are rocking and rolling on this step. Right, and this T this T seal sheet is good for about up to 500 presses here. So you can see we're just using the same sheet over and over again. Um, really, really great tool for a digital heat effects business. And this is our lec our and this is our last next level T here. Next we'll move on to our districts that are the tri blends. I'll see my stack of finished shirts here. Looking really nice, great detail, great feel to them. And keep in mind, we do have our temperature for this under 300 degrees, 270 degrees for this. Um, it, they do say that if you use this sheet at over 300 degrees, it just deteriorates the quality of the sheet quicker. So we like to put our temperature down for this step. done. While we're wrapping up this production run here, just go over some of the numbers for you guys. So like we said, this is a job of 16 shirts here. Um, so if you know, a shirt like this, this full color, something big and design like this, 
would retail for probably about $20. Um, so you can imagine, you know, 16 times 20, you're looking at over $300 on a job like this. Um, so, you know, while there are some things that you definitely could do to speed up this production, we're going pretty slow here. I'm taking my time, I'm talking to you guys, I'm lining things up like perfectly. Um, and we're, you know, we're, we're at about an hour, around an hour for the production for this job. So that's like, you know, an hour and you're making over $300 for something like this is, is definitely a profitable system. And, you know, like I said, I even asked one of our digital heat effects support experts and, you know, he recommends two presses for sure. Um, but, you know, there's definitely some, some ways you could speed this up. But once we get down to this last step of the finishing press, we are just moving right along. One recommendation um, was to put our transfers on our shirts previously when we had them on our working table and use some heat tape and have them all lined up. So when I put the transfers on these shirts earlier, like you saw, I put the shirt on and then I put my transfer on. So one of the recommendations from one of our digital heat effects experts was to get the shirt ready, tape the transfer on with a little piece of heat tape. So all I have to do is put my shirt on. So definitely a little bit of something you could do there. It's all about just getting comfortable with the system, seeing what works best for you. And if you use the regular finishing sheet that we used previously for this finishing press, you don't have to wait at all afterwards. You can just go ahead and rip that off right away. But the T-seal sheet does dramatically help with durability and washability. So we do recommend using this. down to our last couple shirts here. All right, guys, I'm putting my last shirt of this job on the heat press now. We have 20 seconds while that cooks. I'll kind of try and divide out my shirts a little bit here to show you. Our district perfect weights, our tries. Our last shirt done. All right, take this off the press. So up. There we go, guys. So we have a finished job here of 16 shirts. There was four of four different types of shirts. So four times four, 16 shirts in this job. Um, really great example of a production run with the digital heat FX system using the 8432. Uh, just kind of show you how that process works, some ways to help speed up the production. Of course, you know, it's all about getting comfortable with your system and figuring out what works well for you. 
But, you know, we were talking a little bit, we were chatting with you guys. So, you know, kind of took our time a little bit with this, but this turned out great. Like I said earlier, it was a really colorful, big design. A lot of shops, a lot of printers won't be able to do something like this. So the digital heat effect system is really unique in that way. So if you want to learn more about getting your t-shirt business started with the digital heat effect system, you can go ahead and visit coldesi.com and live chat with one of our pros.